This BMC Helix Control M video shows what to check when a job is not being started, and you want to find out why. We will be looking at several jobs in the Control M monitoring domain that are in different waiting states. After logging into Control M and opening the monitoring domain, we see four jobs that are in various waiting states, which can be seen by their colors. A gray state means that a job is waiting for a prerequisite, and a blue state means that it is waiting for some type of resource to become available. Looking at the first job, we see its status is, wait for event. This means that it is waiting for an event to be posted, usually by a predecessor job in the job flow. To get more details, we can look at the waiting info tab. There we see that the job is waiting for an event, other job 1 to waiting job 1. The current view we have opened does not show the predecessor jobs. What we can do to look at this job's predecessors, is right click it, and select the option, neighborhood. We can select how far back we want to see predecessor jobs in the option, radius, which we'll leave at 3. Clicking open will open a new viewpoint, with only this job's predecessors and successors. Here, we can see that waiting job 1 has two predecessor jobs, and the first one of these is showing a pink status color. Selecting this job, we see that its status is, wait user. A job in this status is waiting for a user to manually confirm that it may run. To do so, we right-click the job, and select, confirm. The job now runs, and after it completes, its successors are now also being started. We close the neighborhood viewpoint and go back to our original jobs. Selecting the second job, we see its status is also wait for event. The waiting info tab shows for this job that it is waiting for its scheduled running time, which is 8 p.m. If we wanted to override this to make the job run now, we can right-click the job, and select, Run Now. This bypasses all prerequisites for this job, and tells Control M to run the job immediately. The job runs, and ends OK. Waiting Job 3 is in a wait resource state. The waiting info tab shows it is waiting for a resource pool, demo pool with a quantity 10. To look at this resource's current definition and usage, we go to Tools, Resource Pools. Here we can see the demo pool resource has been defined, but its quantity is set to 5, while our job needed 10. We can update the resource to set its available quantity to 10, which should allow the job to run. Switching back to the monitoring viewpoint, we see that the job has already started to run. Finally, job 4 is in a wait host state. This means that the control M agent on the host the job was defined to run on, is not available for some reason. The job is supposed to run on demo agent win. We can go to configuration to check the agent status. There we see this agent is listed as unavailable. Checking the agent service on that Windows machine, we see it is stopped. Starting the service resolves the issue, and now allows the job to run. That concludes this BMC Helix Control M Solutions video. Please see our YouTube channel for more videos like this.